why is Cabernet Sauvignon uh, not better known in Washington compared to say Merlot or Syrah when you make such beautiful balanced wines? That's a good question. That is a good question. I, you know, I think you might have said something about that when you visited a couple of seasons ago, because I think when you, when you showed up, when you visit, you were, you were thinking more about other grapes, Malbec, which is amazing here. Of course, we know that and Syrah and, and grapes like that, but it is, I, I think you have Cool Cedar Creek that kind of gets some attention um, outside of our, our, our local area with, with Cabernet, but there's, there's not a lot of producers that are quite, um, I don't know. I mean, we're, you know, we're Washington state. I, I love living here, working here. It's exciting because we do have a lot of, uh, a lot of the world still yet to conquer and, and show our wines, but that's a good question. I'm not exactly sure why that is, but I hope we can change it. I, I think we get a lot of questions about that. Bob, Bob, well, people will ask Bob a lot or when he's in interviews and they'll say, Hey, why, what, what's the future of Washington state? What are, what is it going to be known for? What grape are we going to stand on? And, and he's always going to say Cabernet Sauvignon. So but um keep on doing it <laughs> so it's like they're very beautiful and and uh different than california have a whole different sensibility to it and so i think that that's really cool thank you yeah um and i think if you if you think about cabernet sauvignon where it's grown i mean the most famous places for good reason you think of bordeaux you think of napa washington's a very different climate to grow cabernet sauvignon and i mean Napa, of course, you have that Mediterranean, you know, classified as Mediterranean climate where you have those very warm nights and warm days. And then Bordeaux with its proximity to, to the ocean, which these things obviously know, I'm just pointing it out, um, it's maritime influence. Well, Washington State's inland continental uh, with the, the, the kind of people like to say larger diurnal shift, which is true, higher daytime uh, temps and, and cooler nights. So it, it's kind of different. I, I like to think it's different for a reason because uh, it, it's, it's a different climate. You don't find Cabernet Sauvignon growing in an inland continental uh, climate uh, too often. So, you know, maybe, maybe that is part of it. 